Hi everybody. Um, I just wanted to um, make a short video. Um, as you see, it's our 50th anniversary today. And thank you for all the well wishing. And I just wanted to share with you, you know, I, I was talking to my husband this morning and I said, we are just so blessed to have gone on this journey together. Uh, 50 years, you know, wow, it's hard to believe. And um, we are just so blessed. And this is the best time of our life because of the gospel. You know, we started out 1969, neither one of us knew Jesus. And um, we didn't get to know the Lord till 1977. And then um, it was beautiful. It was just absolutely beautiful. It was a breath of fresh air. And then we started to be taught the law. And it really took all the fun out of it because it, it turned into a labor of trying to be accepted and uh, a lot of condemnation and shame and guilt and um, 2011 Jesus set us free and it's so hard to explain um, this experience of no longer living from an outward standard uh, but living from an inward life um, you know this morning as I was getting ready I, I had uh, Pandora on and there were so many songs that were just saying all the wrong things and one of the songs that came on was I surrender all. I used to sing that. That used to be one of my favorite songs. I surrender all. I surrender all. All to Jesus. I surrender. I surrender all. And you know something? When I used to sing that, it was, it was putting myself on the altar and saying, you know what, I'm going to try harder. And as I heard that song this morning, I saw it in a whole different light through the lens of grace. And when I sang, I surrender, I was saying, Lord, I surrender all my self-effort. I am not going to do a thing to save my life. Into your hands, I commit my life. You animate me by your spirit. I don't want to do anything except I am moved and animated by you. This wonderful life of liberty, this wonderful life of freedom, in just loving God because he loves me, loving my husband just because, and you know, no, um, no demand, no demand on anybody for anything. <laughs> that is so freeing, amen? I mean, you know, it, you, we're not good to people because they deserve it. We're, we're good to people, you know, when I say that, I'm saying, you know, their behavior warrants you being good to them. No. When you see what Paul saw in the second, uh, let's see, second Corinthians five, he said, the love of Christ constrains me. That's like being held in a vice by the love of God because, see, this, this love, being grabbed by love, was the result of something that he believed. He said, because one man died, then all are dead. Henceforth, we know no man after the flesh. You 
see what he's saying? He's saying because he believed that the whole human race died in Jesus Christ, we don't know anybody after the flesh anymore. We only know people after the resurrection of Jesus Christ. In other words, Jesus took the whole human race into his body and died away the first Adam. And we rose up in newness of life, justified, okay? That is innocent. And so, if I can see all people innocent, I see they deserve my love, my respect, and it makes it so easy. But if we are judging after the flesh, you're going to go, well, you know, that one deserves it, that one doesn't, that one deserves it, that one. Who made us a judge? Huh? Jesus said, I didn't come to condemn the world, but I came to save it. So, you know what? When we have the mind of Christ, we have the same judgment as him. So anyway, I just want to say that I am so thankful. I am blessed beyond measure because, <laughs> because, Jesus loves me, this I know, Amen. for the Spirit tells me so. You know, the scripture says in Romans 8, His Spirit bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God, whereby we can cry out, Abba, Father, Abba, Daddy. That's what Abba is. Daddy, if, if you hear... Um, someone in the Middle East calling their, their dad, they would say, Abba, Abba. And so you know what? Abba, Abba loves me, Abba loves you. And uh, I'm just having a totally blessed day in this wonderful freedom that Jesus Christ has given me. Thank you, Jesus, for setting me free from the mind of Adam and given me the mind of Christ. God bless you all, and I pray that you would get an understanding of the grace of God. The grace of God is all it is, is the divine influence upon the heart reflected in the life. Listen, if I am living under the divine influence, nothing but good can come out of me because there isn't anything except good in God. Amen. Say hi, Dad. Hi there. God bless you. <laughs> That's my sweetheart. God bless you, loves. Have a blessed